remesh. Okay, so this is the remesh feature. First off, I'm going to click and drag out a sphere and turn it into a poly mesh. Well, after I turn edit, I'm going to make it a poly mesh. And just so it's easier to grab, I'm going to clone it. So in here, under here, I clone it. Then I'm going to grab another primitive, this ring. And again, make it a poly mesh and then clone it. All right. Now, let's go up to Subtools, and this is the Poly Mesh. You can see that by saying Poly Mesh. And I'm going to append the sphere. And then I'm going to go over here to the Scale Tool and kind of go clicking and dragging with the Scale Tool and grabbing this side of it. Oh, wrong thing. This one. Sorry. There we go. So you have to be on the primitive that you want to shrink down. And then I'm going to move it and I'm going to kind of move it into the position of kind of a ring. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the top one and just merge down. And okay. So I got this. Very interesting. Well, they got this little feature called remesh. Let me go to, kind of go explain how this works. This is two separate objects, okay? They're actually just two separate objects combined together. You could tear them apart if you wanted to. No problem whatsoever. But in this case, what I want to do is take these objects and click on, see there's three little tiny buttons here. Let me kind of zoom in see if I can zoom in on my Mac here to show you this X Y and Z they're so small that I would never even know they were there well down below you're gonna see that there is a color right here see the green the red and the blue okay if I mirrored this in Z, it would be mirroring it just within itself. Okay, and let me kind of show you what that means. Let me mirror it in Z. And not much happened, but really it did. Let's take this object, which consists of two objects and let's look at the other one the other one now is made of a whole object and what's nice about that if you're developing a character with a lot of little, little tiny rings and necklaces and whatnot or anything for that matter you can unify your two meshes together to make one giant unified mesh and they're very easy to sculpt across where the other one if I go to sculpt across this, it looks weird. Okay? So, that's the advantage. That's what remesh does. It mirrors the object based upon whatever direction you want to mirror it in. In this case, I just mirrored it on top of itself. But certainly, you could take it and turn all of them on at the same time. Remesh all. and produce some really screwy looking shapes. There we go. So that is now the new mirroring feature within ZBrush Remesh. Enjoy, on to the next video.